Have you ever heard of Bo-Katan Kreese? Bo-Katan is a cautionary tale. Bo-Katan may have assisted many of our good guys throughout her existence, but is she actually a good or even decent person? Her rule ended in tragedy. They lost their way, and we lost our world. Some people would call this character quite inconsistent. And if we look back and really remind ourselves of the entire journey of the Mandalorian Bo-Katan, it isn't difficult to understand why. She went from being a terrorist in the Clone Wars to a heroic leader of Mandalore with the Darksaber in her possession. It's easy to forget that she was a part of Death Watch, a terrible organization that burned villages and killed for fun. Just look at her evil smug in those early episodes of the Clone Wars. That's someone who definitely feels villainous. Little skinny, isn't she? People would argue that the way she gets portrayed in Rebels makes her more of a heroic character, but I don't buy that argument at all. I understand Bo-Katan as a cleverly written anti-hero, someone who in the beginning had good intentions, but over the course of time has gotten way too fixated on the goal of freeing Mandalore, totally overlooking the simple fact that she has become a power-craving manipulator. I wish I was good at something other than war. This single line of dialogue summarizes bo completely. War has been her life. It's the Mandalorian culture, but for this Mandalorian it has certainly become her biggest weakness, from the perspective that she can't live without it. It seems like she's always looking for some sort of a fight, even if the dilemma at hand could be solved without it. You are not a Mandalorian. She isn't a likable character at all, but I think that's something positive. You need these type of realistic characters that displays both sides of the spectrum. Many villains and heroes in Star Wars are way too one-sided, either good or evil. So characters like Ventress, Bo-Katan and even Han Solo are intriguing to witness because of their unpredictability. You never know what side they might choose. The only thing that's certain is that they will most likely look out for themselves. The the anticipated conflict of interest between Din Djarin and bo -Katan in The Mandalorian Season 3 is a great example of that. The Darksaber symbolizes the power Bo wants, and the consequence of Din grabbing it right in front of her eyes is most likely going to be handled in the upcoming season. It doesn't work that way. The Darksaber doesn't have power. The story does. The Darksaber is such a unique item. Because of its emblematic value, its rich history, and its ability of uniting an entire community. The problem with Bo-Katan's never-ending mission of seeking this weapon is that she has lost control of what it actually symbolizes. A worthy leader of Mandalore. She has lost track of the bigger picture, and like I mentioned earlier, she only sees the goal in front of her, never reflecting over if it's even worth it, or if she is the right person for the job. The personality of Bo-Katan is perfect fine, and I think it makes sense that she is stuck in her own ways. She is a logical conclusion of the culture around being a Mandalorian, that from the day she was born, she was being bred and schooled about war, fighting, and so on. It's all she has ever known. Even when they had peace in the Clone Wars, Bo openly stood against it as a result of believing pacifism was wrong, because that's probably what she had been taught. Why are you helping now? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. It would be interesting if they delved deeper into Bo as a person, and what she herself thinks of the terrible stuff she has done. What other characters around her thinks, especially the morally correct people, for example Ahsoka. The fact that she even associates herself with Bogatan is an interesting discussion. What this Mandalorian has been a part of is not forgettable, but I feel like the writers, especially in Rebels, ignore that part of the story and placed her in a way too friendly light. Actions have consequences even if they're made many years ago, and that Ahsoka of all people just brushes that aside is quite weird. You're nothing like your sister. 
To summarize my thoughts, I would say that bo is a terrible person, but an intelligently written character that has the potential to play an important part of the future of the Mandoverse. I would like to see a little bit more conflict about her way of looking at life, and how she could change for the better. Like I mentioned, the potential for this anti-hero is high, but the writers has to find some sort of consistency in her development, while simultaneously take into account what she has done in the past. If you want to check out more content with Bo-Katan, you should view the video on screen that discusses my favorite episode in The Clone Wars, and she plays a vital part in that episode. Thank you guys for watching, press the like button and subscribe, and may the force be with you.